Hello, my name is Darcy Carosa, and I am the founder and executive director of the Palm Springs Dance Project. You know, since we concluded our February and March programming, a lot has changed. Our daily life as we knew it is completely different, and we've been left with a lot to think about. And like the rest of the Palm Springs arts community, we've been pondering ways that uh, we can create safer means for us to continue our dance, learn, and love programming. Now we're really proud of the programming that we just concluded. It was like none other. We celebrated Palm Springs and enhanced our connection to the vibrant dance community of Los Angeles. Um, through our partnership with our educational underwriter, the Western Wind Foundation, um, and some generous sponsors, we were able to create a 100% free intensive dance training for more than 30 Coachella Valley students, many of them coming from some of the more disadvantaged areas in our community. This made it even more exciting for us to be able to create a program that had our students dancing uh, in uh, flash mobs at Village Fest and also at a beautiful performance um, at the Annenberg stage at the Palm Springs Art Museum. Now here they were joined by students across the Coachella Valley at dance studios all around and together more than 50 students shared their joy and passion for dance on the stage of the Annenberg. It was an incredible heartwarming performance. We were also award, uh, excuse me, we were thrilled to award two local dance studios the opportunity to represent Palm Springs at the next upcoming Los Angeles Invitational Dance Showcase. This Creating this programming moved me personally. It was so incredible to create this, this personal mentoring and training program with these accredited, wonderful professionals and these hungry, aspiring dance students. Many of these students have never had professional training, uh, danced uh, for their community or on a professional stage, or seen a full-length professional dance program. This unique experience was fuel to power their aspirations, uh, their personal revelations, and it brought so many new possibilities to light for them. Uh, we also reached out to our community with some free and low-cost programming, including some for our local dance educators, a program on body and balance with Lynn Simonson. Further, as part of our ongoing efforts to support boys and dance, uh, we address the continuing stigma of boys and dance with the screening of Billy Elliot, followed by a poignant panel discussion with three male dancers, Howard Sayet, Jose De La Cuesta, and Doug Graham. Now, who, who could have guessed that our wonderful, wonderful celebration of dance would have been the last program in the Annenberg Theater for the season due to this COVID-19? So... We are so very grateful that we, you know, we had this time and we were able to complete our programming. And we definitely think of this as some good karma. So folks, we, we know that dance builds communities. It opens pathways for dialogue, connection, communications. Um, so we hope you are gonna join us in our attempt to unite our community through dance. Ask your friends to join our mailing list, which they can do so at psdanceproject.org. Follow Facebook and Instagram at Palm Springs Dance Project. So over the next few months, while we work on developing our new programming, we are gonna release some really wonderful special videos from our main event for you to see. Um, we're gonna do this through uh, email blasts and social media posts. We know these performances by Brokus Red, Lula Washington Dance Theater, and Luminario Ballet are really gonna inspire and lift you up. So stay tuned in. Thank you so much for your support thus far. We hope you will stay well, and we're gonna look forward to dancing with you again.